there, this is Heather Riley, blogger for Want My YA, my the YA blog. Today I am doing my very first unboxing video for my Book Riot YA themed quarterly subscription box. Um, full disclosure, this is a recreation video due to technical difficulties. The actual original unboxing video is not usable. My, my chrome's turned all the way down so you cannot hear a word I am saying. So, without further ado, actually, no, we are going to wait because I should probably explain what this is. I mentioned back in February that I had signed up for this new subscription box that was coming out. Uh, book Riot already puts out a quarterly book box for adult novels. Um, I watched a few unboxing videos for that before deciding whether or not I wanted to commit because this is not a cheap subscription box. It's $50, but it only comes out every three months, hence um, quarterly. Uh, that is the website that uh, curates it, or however the word you want to use for it is, but it comes through quarterly.com. Uh, and like I said, $50 every three months, and so you're guaranteed to get at least $50 worth of merchandise within your box. Um, and after I watched several videos for the adult version um, and saw that it did get better with each and every month, I decided, hey, it's worth it. I'll go ahead and give it a shot. So let's see what we have in here. First things first, we have our description of everything that is in the box. Um, also, I will apologize in advance if you're watching the final version of this and everything is backward because I have not yet figured out how to fix that. So we will set this aside and refer to it as needed. Uh, have a Today I'm Reading chalk mug. Comes with chalk as well, very handy. Uh, drink a lot of tea, so that's very nice. And speaking of tea, novel teas. We've got um, five tea bags with literary tags, ingredients, um, English breakfast tea, one of my favorites, so that is very handy. Rory's Story Cubes. This is one of those things that um, I can see playing with a bunch of my classmates, being in library school with a bunch of book nerds. Um, See, they had a fun description for that here. See, as well, we're on the theme of telling a story from multiple sides. Here's a game that lets you do just that. The Story Cubes game is about being creative and telling a story based on the pictures you roll on the nine die. Connect a bee to a key to a phone to an apple. This isn't the kind of game you can win or lose. The point is to see how many ways you can tell a story. Now the fun part, the books. First one here is Razorhurst by Justine, and forgive me, I'm going to mangle this last name because I've never heard it spoken out loud, Larbalestier, Larbalestier, if you know better how to pronounce it, please correct me. It's very interesting that this showed up in my box today because this also showed up in an assignment I was working on last night. Sydney's Deadly Razorhurst Neighborhood, 1932. Gloriana Nelson and Mr. Davidson, two ruthless mob bosses, have reached a fragile peace, one maintained by razor men. Kelpie, orphaned and homeless, is blessed and cursed with the ability to see Razorhurst's many ghosts. They tell her secrets the living can't know about the cracks already forming in the mob's truce. Then Kelpie meets Dymphna Campbell, a legendary beauty and prized maul of Gloriana Nelson. She's earned the nickname Angel of Death because none of her bows has ever survived knowing her. Unbeknownst to Kelpie, Dymphna can see ghosts too, and she knows that Gloriana's hold is crumbling one henchman at a time. As loyalties shift and betrayal threatens the two girls at every turn, Dimpna is determined not only to survive, but to rise to the top with Kelpie at her side. As I said, this showed up while I was doing homework last night. I had to create a read-alike list to go along with uh, Maggie Steve Otter's The Raven Boys, and this was one of the books that was recommended by Novelist. How It Went Down by Kekla Magoon. This has the uh, Coretta Scott King Honor Award. When 16-year-old Tariq Johnson dies from two gunshot wounds, his community is thrown into an uproar. Tariq was black. The shooter, Jack Franklin, is white. In the aftermath of Tariq's death, everyone has something to say, but no two accounts of the events line up. Day by day, new twists further obscure the truth. Tariq's friends, family, and community struggle to make sense of the tragedy and to cope with the hole left behind when a life is cut short. In their own words, they grapple for a way to say with certainty, this is how it went down. 
Um, seems like a very timely book. Um, you know, a lot of issues dealing with race and what really happened. You know, we see that every day in the news. Um, it seems like the kind of book that I might be assigned to read for class. Not the kind of thing I would have picked up on my own, but I'm glad I got it because it definitely looks interesting. Let's see. There was also, in with all these fun little papers they sent, Bonus content, a letter and deleted scene from How It Went Down by author Kekla Magoon, so that is very exciting. And, oh, saw something else on one of these pages somewhere. Here we go. I was not one of the lucky ones, but in case you're thinking about signing up, see if this is something they do every month. Bonus lottery items. A small percentage of subscribers, about 10%, will find an extra surprise in their box this month. The possible lottery items include an advanced copy of One Thing Stolen by Beth Keppert, provided by Chronicle Books, an advanced copy of The Revelation of Louisa May by Michaela McCall, provided by Chronicle Books, a finished copy of Fairest by Marissa Meyer, provided by Macmillan Children's Books. So, that's kind of cool that they have this bonus lottery thing, um, so maybe next month, or not next month, three months down the road, next box, maybe next box or the following box, I might get lucky enough. Who knows? Um, I am going to do my best to provide reviews for the two books that I received in this month's box. Um, being a student, it's probably going to be like June before I get a chance to read for fun again, so don't hold your breath, but I am going to do my best to review them because they do look like really good books. Alright, so thanks for sticking through my first unboxing video with me. I look forward to doing this again sometime in July, I'm thinking, is when the next one's supposed to come out. Um, so, yeah, thanks!